Well, welcome one and welcome all, all my lovely boys, girls, and gifted animals. How are you today? I am doing well. I appreciate you asking. As always, this is your loving and dearest, humble of uncles, Uncle Carl, uh, reporting live at a uh, at an Arby, and they they had a thing maybe last year. I forget. Uh, where they had gyros or gyros or euro, if you want to be proper. And I like to be proper most times, on weekdays at least. And, well, they brought them back, and I'm just curious about what what they have to offer. I mean, I, I'm Greek, 50%, that is, and I thought I'd try it out. So here it is. I got the beef one, roast beef. I did not get tomato on it, but it also comes with, um, let's open it up here. It's very warm. It smells good too. It's a good sign already. So it comes with, uh, let's see, how am I gonna do this? All right, so it comes with the roast beef, some tzatziki sauce, I think I'm pronouncing that right, which is basically like a yogurt, Greek yogurt and spices blended together or something similar in that regard. So it come, comes with that. Looks like some onions and some lettuce and normally tomato, but you know me, I'm not gonna get that tomato. I'm not the biggest fan of that red thing, at least by itself. So, it smells good and it's warm. The pita looks kind of almost like a whole wheat pita. I don't know, it looks good. Let's try it out and see see if it it's worth it. Came to 442, so let's just try it out. There's a decent amount of meat in there, as you can see. I'm sitting in the parking lot right now, and there's cars coming and going all over the place. And uh, they're probably wondering why I'm talking to myself, because they can't see my camera crew. I know it's hard to believe I have such a large crew that follows me all over the place and they can't see it. How does he do it, you're asking? Well, your uncle doesn't reveal his trade secrets. So let's talk about this. Well, as I said, there's a lot of meat, as you can see. Uh, the sauce is, you know, what I expect, and it's pretty good. Do I think it goes well with roast beef? Not particularly. Maybe I should have got the turkey. They have a turkey version of it, too. So there's a turkey and a roast beef version. I got the roast beef. I mean... Hmm. Oh. Ignore that. Love it when that interrupts. So here, here are my thoughts. I don't think the sauce goes well with roast beef. I think it would go much better with turkey or maybe another meat. Um, you know, is it is it good? Sure. I just think that it kind of contrasts a little bit too much. But, I mean, the roast beef is their typical Arby's roast beef, which is pretty decent quality. The lettuce is fresh, and the onion has a nice little addition to it. I like onions. It adds uh, interesting flavor. Uh, to anything. So, and the peat is soft, warm, and it was uh, good. It was, uh, everything's pretty good about this. And at 442, it's not that bad of a price. It'll fill me up for lunch. And um, I really don't have terribly too many complaints aside from, you know, the fact that maybe they should have thought of a, and I don't even know what other kind of meat they could choose, you know, at least what they have available at Arby's, you know, to put in the, in the, the actual euro here. So maybe I should have gotten the turkey. The, the roast beef 
just doesn't quite match up well with that sauce, but the sauce is pretty good by itself. Um, it just doesn't match well with roast beef. In my humble and humblest opinions, but overall, it's, uh, it's pretty good. You know, I, I like it. I'm going to eat it, and I'm going to enjoy it. So what should I rate this? You're going to ask yourself. Oh, there goes a big old truck. Probably left because he thought I was weird talking in the car and eating. Anyway, uh, I think I'm going to rate this a solid... 7.938, which is really close to an 8. Uh, I don't think it quite gets there. Um, the only reason I'd say it doesn't quite get there is because of that contrasting flavor. But, moreover, you know, I think that it could have been... I don't know the right word I'm trying to say here. It just, it, it, it's not terribly authentic. I mean, it's, it, it's, it's close and I see what they're trying to do. It's, it's basically just like a taco here, you know? It's not truly, it doesn't, it's not truly a gyro because it doesn't really have like a pocket in a pita. You know, it's the way I've traditionally had it, you know, at, at authentic Greek places. So it's, more or less just kind of an Americanized version of it, which is fine. Um, you know, I'm not really complaining too much. I mean, but it's pretty good. The sauce is good. Everything's good about it. So I recommend it. Anyway, enough talking. God bless. Hope to see you again. And as always, you take care.